Uh, we have met Peter Clancy from the Green Distillery here in Vienna at the Vienna Whiskey Convention. And he's the owner of the distillery and he has some great news. Yes, Bernard, I mean, uh, just this week we, we, we got a, a planning commission through for our new distillery. Um, so we're pretty excited about that and, you know, we expect over the course of this year to, to, uh, to break ground on that and finally start building it. It's been a, a long journey to get to this point, but uh, what we figure out, I suppose, is, is uh, whiskey is a long-term business anyway, so uh, it, it, it's, um, that, that just typifies the, the, the type of business it is. Tell us a little bit about the distillery, how big it will be. Uh, do you have uh, warehouses planned for that as well? So our distillery is based in our hometown. We, we already have a micro distillery in our hometown. So the distillery is based on a, is, is based literally across the road from the existing micro distillery in a big old um, uh, three story building dating back to 1803, right? With, with a 1.3 acre site at the back of it, looking right out on the lake and Loch Ree and Lanes. So we are, we are at the very northern end of Loch Ree. The Lake of Kings, not really in, in the Gaelic language translates to the Lake of Kings. So, um, in terms of size, um, so our, our wash stills are our wash still is 7,000 liters. So, uh, that's going to, you know, it, on, on a single batch basis, it's going to be about 125,000 LPA per year, expandable to about 350,000 LPA. So, just to put, you, put that in context, um, it's it's very similar in size to Clonakilty Distillery in Ireland. It's about half the size of Teeling's Distillery, right? So that 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 just gives you a, a feel for the scale of it. Um, so uh, in there, we're going to produce a mixture of uh, malt and pot still, um, and yeah, I suppose like the the, the equipment is already ordered. Uh, the the distillation equipment from Barris and Industry in Italy, uh, who have supplied Clonakilty Hinch. A uh, number of Skellig, uh, a number of other distilleries. So we've worked through that. The design is already completed. So yeah, I mean, I, I hope you know we're 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 pretty confident that you know mid year or slightly afterwards we we finally get moving on this. And for us, this is our hometown. So we grew up there, and we we can already see with our micro distillery the impact that is having economically. You know, we're getting lots of people. You know, only last year tourists were back in the town so we we you know even though we're only in an old butcher shop we had two or three thousand people come through the doors we started keeping a visitor book right so uh i think i think there was 16 different nationalities visiting us at the end of it they were from the us lebanon lots of germans you know we, we get lots of germans um uh, danish dutch cruising on the river shannon so we're you know, we're 50 yards from the marina, we're 50 yards from the river. So I suppose you will have a shop? A we will have a shop, with some tasting areas, um, and, uh, you know, a, a tour of some description. Um, you know, it, 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 I, I suppose, uh, if we had built a distillery pre-COVID and you had, you had bet your whole economic model on tourism revenue, you'd be in a pretty sorry place right now. So... Really, the imperative is to get making whiskey and laying it down because that's where the long-term value is and the business is in your own stock. Um, you know, and I think the tourism offering will, will will be an enhanced version of what we currently have in the micro distillery, and that will grow over time. Um, you know, so we're we're uh, while we're while we're in the business uh, several years. We're learning the business all along and the different facets of the business. So it's, 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 but it's a, I mean, it's a terribly exciting journey. You can tell, yeah, yeah, you know, it, it, it's, it's uh, no two days are the same. So you said breaking ground this year. When do you think you will be operational then? So we, we will be operational uh, approximately 12 months from breaking ground, right? So, uh, like the design is done. Yeah. And behind it all, myself and my brother Michael are engineers. We've been involved in other distillery builds. So, we have a pretty good idea how to put this thing together pretty quickly, right? Um, you know, we, we, I, I've spent 20 years working in process industries, so I, I know how to how to do all this. Uh, that's probably the easy bit. It's it's the marketing bit and the routes to market bit is, is you know, uh, where um, I suppose as a business we've had to learn a lot more. 
the, actually the distilling bit. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to make it sound easy because uh, it's not. But we we have the process background to be able to do it. So well. Thank you for your time. Thank, Thank you for explaining us everything. And it was a great time here in Vienna. Lovely, Bernard. And, and you too. Okay. We're, we're in for a long few days, I think.